Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Texans, and happy Friday. With exams, star testing, and finals all hitting us, we have advice on how to relieve the stress. In studio today, we have some hardworking athletes who've shown great effort that has paid off as they are on their journey to state. All this and more coming up on NHS TV Live. With school coming to an end, as levels have gone through the roof as students begin to take exams and star tests. Reporter Ethan Pierce went out and got advice on how to deal with some of these stresses from school. As teenagers, one of the aspects of our lives we neglect the most is our mental health. From the way we treat ourselves to the way we treat others, or even the way we let others treat ourselves. But as we go through our lives, it's important to respect our mental health needs and look for positivity. When I think of having a positive outlook, I... I think that means more of appreciating where you're at and how far you've come. In our lives, we must take care of ourselves, from positive self-talk to healthier behaviors, and most importantly, seeking help when we need it. Being able to go to a counselor just by the mere fact of being able to share your experience with somebody else makes you feel less alone. But along with this, we find there is another place students can look for help, teachers. Teachers can help students find the right resources and be more open about their mental issues. Teachers are essentially the first respondents. They are the people who are on the front lines, who see students on a daily basis. It's a misconception that only mental health professionals can help with people's mental health. For an example of a teacher who takes an active role in their students' mental health, I met with Ms. Mills. Teachers can help by just talking about it, just making it normal to talk about their feelings. Remember, it's okay to not be okay, that relapses are normal because your progression is not linear and to look for help when you need it. For NHS TV, this has been Ethan Pierce. Thank you, Ethan, for that advice I'm sure we all needed to hear. Now we have Clarissa who has stepped out of the studio to find out just who might get help in tough times like these. Carissa? Thanks, Gabe. I am here with Ms. Bermia and Hewlin. So can you tell us a little bit about the program that y'all are starting up next year? Yes, so Partners is a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program where uh, students will be able to learn how to manage the challenges of everyday life. So we will train eight incoming 11th and 12th grade students to be active listeners um, and to be able to help their peer fellow peers. All right, so why would um, students rather talk to other students rather than an adult counselor? So if a student is going through an issue that they don't feel comfortable talking to their friends or family about, or they don't want to talk to an adult just because that can seem daunting to them, then that's something that would be good to talk to a partner about because that's just another student that um, is easier to talk to. Right, because students normally go through like the same stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, if you are interested in signing up to be a partner, you can sign up at tinyurl forward slash NHS partner. Thank you so much. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Clarissa. Now, speaking of stress, with the constant pressure that has been raining down on our golf team, it hasn't stopped their hard work. Now, state bound, they are in final preparation for their state competition. We were lucky enough to get them here in studio today. Who do you have for us, Shelby? That's right, Gabe. I'm here with our state bound golfers. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Avery, freshman. I'm JC, sophomore. I'm Ashley, I'm a senior. I'm Chloe, I'm a senior. And I'm Madison, I'm a senior. Sweet. And um, how have y'all prepared for going to state? Like, what are the preparations? So usually we do an hour and a half to two hours after school, starting at seventh period. And we usually practice on this thing called a range, which is kind of like a toned down top golf, which okay. everyone's been to. And then we um, play nine holes every other day. 
Sweet. And you two are sisters and you two are twins and you've been with them for four years, right? Mm -hmm. How has that like created a bond for you to be a better team? Well, it's really, it was pretty easy for us to just get our bond because we're all so close. Like them two are close, me and my sister are close. And then I would say me, Ashley and Chloe are really close because we've just grown up together yeah. basically. So it's just, it's been really fun like getting to know them and getting to know each other more and going on trips and doing all that stuff. Oh, so. yeah. Love that. And when is the state tournament? So it's on Monday, and we start at 9 a.m. We're playing with Lebanon Trail and Montgomery, um, and we're also playing with our rivals, Grapevine. Right. And we're heading out to Georgetown on Sunday morning. On Sunday? Oh, good luck. Thank I'm you. sure y'all guys are doing amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show today. Now Coach Wood is here for the rest of your sports update. Thanks, Shelby. I may be a soccer coach, but these golf girls sure are impressive. All right, now the Texas Rangers played yesterday, and although they have been doing phenomenal these last few games, the Houston Astros came and are putting up a fight, beating the Rangers 4-2. to two. Don't worry, though. The Rangers have a chance for redemption tonight at 7 o'clock. You can watch tonight's matchup on ATSW or FSSW. Moving from the field to the court, the Golden State Warrior, Kevin Durant, was injured during a game in the Rockets series and, after getting an MRI, was told by an orthopedic surgeon that he had a mild strain on his right calf and is likely to be out of the game until deep into the conference finals. The good news, however, is that he is being reevaluated early next week to see the progress of his healing. All right, guys, thank you so much for having me on the show today. Coach Comfort will be back on Monday with more sports that you'll need to know. Well, we get to see who's better at sports, huh? Honestly, you're probably better. Right, we'll oh, see, it, we'll Coach see, Confer. Coach Confer. You, you got competition, know. Bring it man. on. <laughs> so. Awesome. Have a great Friday, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.